To begin with, we like to introduce some of our programs that should interest high school students with an interest in studying in Japan. The first one is G30 International Program from Professor Lindy. Okay. Uh, welcome, everybody. My name is Matt Lindley. I'm a professor here at Nagoya University in the International Education and Exchange Center. I'm originally from Canada, but I've been living in Japan on and off for about 25 years or so. I'm also a former student at Nagoya University. I graduated from Nagoya University from the master's program in 2002. So many of you are probably considering studying at a university in your home country or maybe a traditional destination like uh, the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Canada. But today, I would like to introduce you to uh, the G30 International Program here at Nagoya University. Now, these programs maybe are not for everyone, but I hope among some of you, you might find uh, something of interest for you. Okay, so undergraduate study in Japan has traditionally had many barriers. It's been very difficult to enter a Japanese university. The first big issue has always been the language barrier. If you did not speak Japanese, traditionally you could not enter a Japanese undergraduate program. The second big barrier was the entrance examination system. So in the traditional Japanese examination, uh, entering a Japanese university, you traditionally do uh, written exams, all in Japanese, of course. However, recently more Japanese universities are offering full degree programs in English. And we have been doing that since 2011. So the G30 uh, international programs, this is open to students from all around the world. Last year we had more than 700 applicants to our programs. Most of the students are from Asian countries. Uh, some students have Japanese nationality but they have lived abroad their whole lives. We have students from Indonesia, Thailand, Vietnam, uh, uh, China, South Korea. We also have very, uh, teaching in these programs are international faculty as well. Uh, we of course have Japanese faculty members, but we have also German, French, American, uh, Swiss, from many different countries. Um, every year about 40 or 50 students enter the G30 program. And I think uh, a kind of interesting point about it, as you can see in the photo, is the kind of strong sense of community among students, because it's a pretty small program. Now, the main subjects for G30, uh, I'm going to talk about, we, as you can see here, we have social science and humanities subjects. But today, I'll focus on automotive engineering, chemistry, biology, and physics. So, Everyone here is enrolled as a regular Nagoya University student. Uh, so that means you are enrolled in the schools. There's no separate school for only G30 students. Um, so now I'd like to introduce kind of what makes the G30 program special and interesting. First thing is, all of the courses are taught in English for four years. You do not need to know any Japanese language when you arrive in Japan. Second thing, our class, the class sizes are very small. When you enter large American or European universities, you may have hundreds of students in your first year classes. G30 has small class sizes, which means your professors know your name and you can uh, more easily meet people uh, in, in your classes. Another key element is the graduation, graduation research project. So in the fourth year, students in the sciences and engineering do a thesis, a research project that they then present. So you work in a laboratory. Uh, some of our undergraduate students have actually co-authored academic journal articles before they graduate. Many of you are obviously interested in Japan, that's why you've joined today's session, and of course you will have the opportunity to learn Japanese while you are here. You take Japanese class every morning in your first year. 
Uh, so it's very intense. So along with your other courses, you have to learn Japanese. You also get many opportunities to experience Japanese culture, um, calligraphy, uh, origami. Uh, some of our students join clubs like uh, karate, uh, kendo. And so you really get a lot of chance to really uh, integrate with the other students at the university. Now, a key element is that we do not discriminate uh, in terms of your nationality for tuition. So at some, in some countries, international students have to pay higher tuition rates than domestic students. At Nagoya University, Japanese students, domestic students, and international students pay the same uh, tuition fees. So I think that's really important today. Some students end up taking out large loans to go to university, but uh, we, uh, we, uh, for, for joining Nagoya University, uh, you pay the same fees as Japanese students. So let me just quickly introduce the main programs. The automotive engineering program is one of our most popular. Uh, as many of you might know, uh, the automotive industry is located in Nagoya. So the elect we have two programs, the electrical engineering and the mechanical engineering program. In the electrical engineering program, you study subjects related to the car's electrical system. In the mechanical engineering program, you learn things like thermodynamics, fluid dy dynamics, car structures. And many of our students have gone on to work for uh, car companies such as Honda and Tesla. The biological sciences program is offered by both the School of Science and the School of Agriculture. You can study topics like genetics, biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology. The chemistry program, uh, Nagoya University has uh, two uh, Nobel laureates in chemistry. Uh, the chemistry program is offered at the School of Engineering and the School of Science. You study basic courses like basic chemistry, organic chemistry, analytical chemistry. Uh, some of our graduate students have gone on to work at energy companies, cosmetics companies, pharmaceutical companies, and in the food industry. The physics program, we also have a strong tradition in physics uh, with four Nobel laureates. Uh, some courses include things like quantum mechanics, statistical physics, analytical mechanics, electricity and magnetism. Uh, this program, of course, requires a high level of mathematics and physics uh, ability to enter. Our students graduate every year in uh, September. Uh, they, then after that, 25% stay to go to graduate school at Nagoya University, 25% enter graduate schools abroad, and about 50% find jobs in Japan and their home countries. So the application process, you can take a look at our website. Just to let you know, you can apply online. Uh, you do not have to come to Japan. You submit documents. Then there is an interview, uh, and then the admission offer. And after that, we have uh, our admission is in October of every year. Uh, regarding COVID-19, maybe some of you are worried. Well, what we've been doing the last uh, for the last year or so now is a hybrid teaching where some students might be in the classroom, some students online. Um, so we've gotten accustomed to that and it's not ideal, but hopefully soon we will be back to in-person teaching again. Okay, so that's all I really have to say today for the G30 program. Again, this maybe is not a program for everybody, but we think among uh, everyone who's joined us today, there might be a few of you who are interested in uh, doing a degree at Nagoya University. We welcome your application. And uh, if you decide to study with us, great. If not, we wish you all the best in your uh, future studies. Thank you very much.